Hello and welcome back again, Commanders and Commanderettes. Justy Puller here with Sector Breach Conqueror Set Base 2. Um, this second base is really, it's not that bad. It's a little bit more difficult than the first base, but this second base, um, it's a little bit more friendly to your air. So, um, the problem with the air is, because it's been hard nerfed, and we just got it, remember? <laughs> we just got these fighters, and we just got this Maverick, but it's been hard nerfed, okay? I like to take a look at the base before I get started. I, I, I like to, like, build a plan in my mind. Uh, I like to point out, you know, like, where certain things are. Uh, I cannot find the second uh, drone silo on this base. It must be behind the CC. Um, but I discovered that there's a, uh, a hive on this base. So um, it's hidden behind the CC. You'll want to kill that. And, and the uh, Maverick can kill that pretty easy. Otherwise, you're going to get constant uh, hive drones, and then that's going to cause you a problem. So for me, the number one priority is taking out the airport and taking out the two um, buildings that are producing um, the war factory and the barracks. Uh, there, I killed them just before they started producing items. Now, if you let the barracks produce, uh, I think it's producing hoplites you're going to get damage to your air. So that's why I take those out right away. And then my next priority is going to be the drone silos or anything that's producing, right? And I was a little bit confused about all these uh, drones here. Um, and I was like, what is going on? Now, this might not be a hive. This might be one of those other things that produces a bunch of stuff too because... We got like a lot of weird drones here that I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I think it's a hive. It looks like a hive to me, uh, but I killed it. Uh, I didn't. I, I wasn't aware of it at this point yet. Uh, I was still trying to figure out. I was noticing them, but I was like, "Where the hell are they coming from?" You know, uh, did somebody have a Cerberus in a, a bunker that I killed? But I haven't broken any bunkers open yet. So. Uh, but then there was just so many drones. I was like, something is building these drones back here. Maybe I missed the barracks, but then no, I, I definitely killed the barracks. And so uh, I brought out my um, uh, war horses, and I also dispatched this uh, uh, bay rock while I was at it. So. You know, I was trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, this is the first time I've done this base, so I wasn't uh, prepared for for that. But once you see it, you're like, okay, I got it. Uh, I wanted to draw it out, so I brought my uh, Maverick back in um, to take out uh, some stuff behind this uh, behind this CC right here, and that that drew it out. Now that might be, I think it's called an akinda. Yeah, I guess that's an akinda. That is not a hive, that's an akinda. So uh, that is uh, one of those ones that produces Cerberuses and all kinds of things. So you gotta get rid of him. And so I killed him. And um, at first I thought it was a hive. It, it's kind of similar to a hive, but it's it's bigger and it's got that black section to it, so for sure that's definitely an Akinda. Because the Hive does not produce the Cerberus too, so that should have been my first uh, my first clue. But those Akindas do produce uh, Cerberuses, so, um, and those are the guys, those are the infantry guys that have the, the remote control drones all around. So I could have continued on uh, with my air because this base is hardly touching my air um, 
So I could have continued on with that, but I wanted to sort of speed things up. I wanted to get rid of uh, these bunkers just take too long for the air to, uh, to clear. I mean, remember just a few days ago, that would have been a one shot situation. And then this base would have been done. Here's the problem, Kicks Eye, if you watch this video. Um, nobody has the time, okay? If you look in there and you see how many XP you need, you've created <coughs> these bases to take so much time. I mean, we're almost running out of time uh, on the bases, uh, and no one has the time. So this will kill the game, okay? People, if they can't do it, they will quit, all right? And here's the case. They can do these bases, yes, but it takes seven or eight times as long as the last event. Which means you have to spend seven or eight times as much time. On the last event, I think I spent something like 40 hours, okay? 40 hours. Seven or eight times that would be eight weeks. I don't have eight weeks, eight working weeks to, to do an event. Nobody can do that. No one would get any sleep. So in this event, and with the fact that you've nerfed everything and caused this to take so much more time, you've essentially in one day destroyed everyone's firepower. And basically, in my opinion, in one day, destroyed the game. Because if you cannot do it, yes, you can do it, but it takes too much time. You don't have that kind of time. Look, we're talking about, I'm showing people how to do this for basically free repair, okay? At the end of this base, I'm going to have three minutes repair. That's not a big deal, but the time that it takes to do this base, you'll see here at the end, I almost run out of time, and uh, so then I have to like go for it at the end, and I think I have just a few seconds left, right? I was playing around here a little bit too much, trying to be too careful, I think, but um, because this is the first base that I actually got close to running out of time on. But, um, you know, imagine taking a bunch of damage uh, and then running out of time and, and getting nothing for it. Uh, one guy wrote in my, uh, in my comments for my other videos that he lost everything on the first base. He doesn't know what's going on. He thinks that they either buffed their bases or nerfed his units he still doesn't know that the units are nerfed the units were nerfed about a day before this event started and i found out on player versus player and it, it cost me a lot but i mean you know to not put a notice out there and just let everybody find out the hard way i can't i can't understand here's what i think you need to do Put the units back the way they the way they were, and compensate everybody with gold. Um, otherwise, this is probably going to be a max, uh, the most uh, people leaving, like a max or a mass exodus of this game. Because when you've been playing for years, and suddenly. Now you can't, you can't do anything, and uh, <laughs> I, I really don't get what's, uh, what's in the programmers' minds for, for doing this. I would have said, listen, we've had power creep, and we need, we need to scale it back, okay? We're going to scale it back in 30 days. Put a big notice out there. Put it out there every day. Put it up a banner at the top. Remember, 
we're scaling back that we're, we're going to draw back this power uh, because the power creep is too much um, although I don't see how that's ever a problem because you just make new units more powerful but apparently <laughs> when, when you guys came out with the Akumas I said okay Kixai made a mistake because now they're going to have to come up with something to counter the Akumas and I saw you trying to counter them and I saw that people just were still using them and uh, so you know so you, now you guys just the only way you can come up with it you couldn't come up with any other ideas so you decided to just nerf everything so here we go guys I'm bringing my air back in I wanted to check the time uh, I wanted to see what was going on I could have cleared this whole base with air uh, if I had just focused on using air, I could have done it. I kind of wasted too much time with my uh, with my war horses. I should have just focused on air. I could have completed this entire base uh, with air. Uh, but now that I've wasted too much time with the war horses, now I'll have to now I'll have to bring the war horses in at the end. But. Uh, We'll start to clear things out here. There's almost nothing left that can shoot my air. Um, or do anything significant to my air. Which is nice. I like that. I, I will say this. Um, kicks I did reduce a little bit of they they could have gone harder on these bases but then uh people would really be just they would be gone they would be protesting um because uh i've been doing this a long time i've got all the units maxed i i got uh you know all the good stuff and if i didn't this base would be really hard. So a lot of the people don't have, you know, all of the good stuff. They don't have everything maxed. They don't have all the workshop. They don't have enough blood th thorium to buy the workshop. They don't have a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? So uh, making this base harder would have been a big, big mistake. There's the other uh, drone silo. I finally see it. It was hidden behind the CC. So maybe on my next uh, try for this base, I'll do try to do everything air first and just clear it out, and then uh, and then come in with the ground at the very end, like I'm gonna have to do here anyway. But I think um, if I if I didn't waste my time with the war horses there. I wouldn't have taken any ground damage. I think I could have cleared this base with air because if I had just concentrated on flying the Maverick over and over and over again. Uh, see, I, I really only used my other fighter in my Goose Platoon to take out the CC. Everything else has been the Maverick, and I think the Maverick has less than a minute damage on it. It's like 30 seconds damage or something on the Maverick. If you look at the Maverick as it goes by, it's still really green and uh, because of the 75 percent reduction which that's another positive thing that kicks i did they knew they screwed us so instead of the 50 percent they gave us uh they gave us the 75 percent um if you've watched my other videos you know that 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 75 percent is not truly a 75 percent though or the 50 percent is not a true 50 percent because <laughs> Uh, not only did they give us the, that, but they also buffed up or, or uh, increased the repair time on the war horses by 600% and on the fighter companies by 600%. So when they gave us a 50% in last event, that was really just a 
300% increase, although they made it look like a 50% decrease in repair time, it was truly a 300% increase, plus the fact that you cannot uh, uh, take your units out like you can normally for player versus player and repair them individually, that kind of makes it even worse because now you've got to repair the whole platoon at the same time and if you'll notice that is part of the reason why I am using uh, so many platoons like I don't need five platoons to do this base and by the way you can surround these bases with six platoons if you want and that'll reduce your damage a little bit more even. Um, but I just I'm just using five platoons it's easier for me to remember what's in each platoon. Um, maximum amount of Mavericks you can have on there is 10. So, excuse me, maximum amount of War Horses you can have on there is 10. So I have uh, uh, them set up in groups of two. So that I, if I wanted to, I could bring in 10 War Horses. Or 9 War Horses and... My Slipinar. Uh, currently, I have my Slipinar uh, by himself. It makes it easier for me to bring in the Maverick. But notice here, everything is free repair. Um, except for this one platoon right here, which is eight minutes. But that's really just three minutes of wait time before I can do a repair. See, it's not too bad, but my Whiskey Platoon was the one that went after the barracks and the the uh, the, the Bayrock. What I should have done is used a separate platoon to go for the Bayrock, but it was right there, and I didn't want to. I, I just wanted to kill it. <clears throat> so three minutes is not bad, right? <clears throat> I hope this was helpful. Watch out for the next video, we're doing the uh, Conqueror set, base number three.